Composer and pianist Percy Granger said of Duke Ellington, the three greatest composers who ever lived are Bach, Delius, and Duke Ellington. Unfortunately, Bach is dead, Delius very ill, but we are happy to have with us today, the Duke. Duke Ellington was much more than a composer. He was a phenomenon. The grandson of a former American slave, Edward Kennedy Ellington was born in 1899 and began taking piano lessons at the age of nine. His mother, Daisy, surrounded her son with dignified women who refined his manners, taught him to live elegantly, and gave him the bearing of a young nobleman. In his early years, he was more interested in baseball than in the piano, and wrote his first composition, Soda Fountain Rag, by ear, since he had not yet learned to read music. By the age of 16, he began playing gigs in cafes and clubs in the Washington, D.C. area, while attending Armstrong Manual Training School. Ellington thought of his music as American music rather than jazz. He and his group became the house band at the Cotton Club in Harlem, New York in 1928, performing all of the music for the reviews, which mixed comedy, dance numbers, vaudeville, burlesque, music, and illegal alcohol. His popularity continued to grow during the 1930s, with many of his greatest hits written and then performed at the Cotton Club before an all-white audience. Ellington wrote many standards, including Sophisticated Lady, In a Sentimental Mood, and Prelude to a Kiss. He also composed many songs in collaboration with pianist and arranger Billy Strayhorn, including Lush Life, Satin Doll, and Take the A Train. The music of Duke Ellington and Billy Strayhorn is beyond genre and lives on in performances of their songs by many of today's most popular singers, jazz groups, and orchestras. When I walk down the street Seems everyone I meet Gives me a friendly hello I guess I'm just a lucky so-and-so Duke remained extremely active in his later years and created and performed his Sacred Concerts series between 1968 and his death in 1973. He was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize in 1965, but turned it down, saying, Fate is being kind to me. Fate doesn't want me to be famous too young. Ellington later received a posthumous Pulitzer for his lifelong body of work. 